Well, we're going to do question two. Uh, question says here, uh, the following geometric sequence is given 10, 5, 2.5, 1.25. And question 2.1 uh, says, um, uh, calculate the value of the fifth term, T5, of this sequence. All right, uh, it is important to note that the question says that sequence, a geometric sequence, okay? And all right, here, one, two, one, is we want to find T5 is the unknown. And then the geometric sequence is given by uh, Tn equal to A times R to the N minus one. While R here is um, uh, the, the, the concentration, okay? Uh, from the formula, we can notice that R here, this R, is uh, given by um, uh, Tn plus one over Tn, okay, over Tn. Or sometimes it's the same thing as Tn uh, over Tn minus one, it's the same thing. So uh, we need to find uh, the, uh, the concentration R, it is, it will be uh, Tn minus one will be five, because if, if this is Tn, Tn minus one will then be five. So now write here five over 10, and this is equal to a half, okay? Um, then uh, we can write um, uh, T, uh, Tn will then be A times a half to the power of N minus one. Now, because we're looking for T5, it means we can substitute n uh, by uh, n by uh, by five, okay? So, so maybe like uh, let's substitute the value of five here for n, and then a is the first term. A is the first term ten, and then to uh, uh, a half five to the uh, a half to the five minus one. So this is just uh, t five will be equal to. 10 times uh, a half to the power of four. Okay. Um, this can be calculated because this is like, C5 will be equal to 10 times one over 16, which is uh, C5 will be equal to five over eight. Okay, we can write like that or someone or can also write C5 equal to um, five over eight is equivalent to 0 0.6, 0 0.625. So you can write like this in the fraction, or you can write like that. Thank you. Um, the following question, uh, 2.2, the question says determine uh, the nth term, uh, T, excuse me, <coughs> Tn in terms of n. All right. We need to find Tn now. So 2.2. We are looking for Tn. Okay, from the previous question, we wrote the formula for Tn. Uh, now that we know uh, the, the first value, which is 10 in the question, you can see that the first value is. Uh, a is 10, okay? And we also know uh, the, the concentration, we can write Cn using this formula. Therefore, Cn will be A, which is 10, okay? And then R is a half, and then to the power of N minus one. So uh, it can be written like this, or it can also be simplified because it's going to be 10, a half is like two to the power of negative one, okay? So it's going to be like two to the negative one, just like. A half is like two to the negative one if we apply this, this property. That says uh, uh, a to the power of, uh, okay? One over a to the n equals two a to the negative n. Okay, so a half is like two to the power of uh, one, one over two to the power of one, because uh, the, the, the power of one is over here by, by two. So you can read it like that. And then this can be simplified further. Uh, should just 
Utr Tn will be, or maybe uh, Tn will be equal to 10 times 2 to the uh, 5, negative n plus 5. This is still correct. Thank you. Um, now, the following question says, um, Explain uh, why uh, the infinite series converges, okay? Well, uh, there's a condition for a series to converge. I'm gonna write here, 2.3. A series converges if uh, uh, the constant ratio lies in, is in between negative one and, and one, okay? In this situation, R is equal to a half, okay? So, R here is equal to half. R is uh, in between negative one and one. Therefore, I said therefore, uh, uh, the sum Sn converges. That's the reason. So, this is the condition. Um, and then the other question says, uh, let's see. That was two points, 2.3. And then question 2.4 says, uh, determine uh, S infinite minus Sn in the form A, B to the power of N, where, S, uh, where Sn is the sum of the first N terms of uh, the sequence. All right. Um, no. Do it over here. So question two point four. <coughs> we are asked, sorry. We are asked to find Sn, S infinite minus Sn uh, in the form uh, AB to the power of N. All right. Um, first of all, I'm gonna write uh, S infinite, okay? S infinite is the equivalence to is given by a over one minus r, and s n is uh, for a geometric sequence. This is equal to uh, a open bracket one minus r uh, n r to the power of n over uh, one minus r. Now, if you substitute s infinite, this will be a is the first term which was ten over one minus r half. Okay, and uh, S infinite here will be uh, uh, 10 open bracket one minus a half to the power of N. So here I'm gonna use the square, square bracket all over uh, one minus a half. Now, uh, this means S infinite equal to uh, 10 over a half because one minus a half is just a half. Okay, uh, that, that was S M. Right. So I'm first simplifying the two. Uh, Sn, this will be equal to uh, uh, 10, open the square bracket, one minus uh, a half to the power of n, okay? All over a half. Then uh, this is just uh, uh, 10. You remember when you have a fraction over another fraction, you're going to multiply the first fraction because 10, uh, this is like a fraction and uh, a half also is a fraction, okay? Because 10 can be written as 10 over one. So it's like, it's like, I wanna take, the, I'm gonna look, you see the main fraction line is here. So 10 can be written in the form of fraction like 10 over one, okay? And then we're going to multiply that by the inverse of the other fraction. This is the law, the rule of uh, dividing a fraction over another fraction. So you take the first fraction, okay? Multiply by the inverse of uh, the second fraction. Okay, and this is just equal to 20. Now, on the other side, also on the other hand, Sn, this, we're gonna apply the same thing here. Okay, all this is like a fraction, one fraction, because this, this, this is a product mixed like one term. So we have like 10, open square brackets, one minus a half to the n. Okay, it's like over one. Then we're going to multiply that 
by the inverse of uh, the other fraction. So this will make uh, uh, 20 because we can just do uh, 10 times two, here's 20, and then one times one is just one. So the, the when the limit is one, we don't write it. So it'll be like 20, open square brackets, one minus one, uh, one minus a, a half to the power of n. Now, this is, this is the simplified, um, this is uh, S infinite simplified, and this is uh, Sn simplified. Okay, let me write here, S infinite and that Sn. Now we can do uh, S, Sn, S infinite minus Sn. <clears throat> can just do it here. Now, now uh, S infinite minus Sn, is equivalent to say like 20 minus uh, 20 open square brackets, one minus a half to the power of n, okay? And then uh, we notice that uh, they both have 20, uh, they both have 20 here, so we can take 20 as a common factor. So we can take 20 as a common factor here. So it will be like, uh, one, because if I take 20 out as a common factor, this part we left with one, and then there's gonna be minus, uh, what? One minus a half to the power of n. And now uh, this makes 20, if, if I drop this uh, inner square bracket, because, okay, this was the inner square bracket, but the outer square bracket, um, it's gonna be like 20, uh, square bracket here one minus one plus a half to the power of n. Okay, I'll drop this bracket, the, the, the blue bracket, the blue square bracket here. If I remove it, it's going to be that, and then one minus one is just zero. This is equal to uh, 20 uh, open bracket because it's just zero, and then we're left with, uh, with a half to the power of n. So, uh, this is basically because we wanted to do S, minus, S infinite minus Sn in the form A, B to the power of N. This is basically that, that form. So this is uh, S infinite minus Sn equal to 20, a half to the power of N. So this is the solution. So um, thank you.